Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make a flat design in Adobe Illustrator. So for this flat image tutorial in Illustrator, I started with a new document, a new artboard, and we're going to make a round pot with a plant and a rectangular pot with a plant. Now, to start with the round one, take your ellipse tool, uh, which is L for short key, and then Shift Alt. So press Shift Alt to make a rect uh, an ellipse from the middle out. Something like this. Now I already have a color selected, but if you want another color, you can go to Color or choose Window color in case it's not visible for you so in the color or you can choose the color on the right side and then you choose the color you want i chose a sort of terracotta like color press ok and then once you've chosen your color you can go to the swatches menu which you will also find in window and then swatches and press the plus icon for a new swatch and make sure you select global so when you select global uh, you can when you want to change this color you can change it in one go for everything that's using that color so be sure to select the global it's very easy to change the color afterwards now i already have this one in my swatches panel now we have an ellipse but we yeah to make it a pot we need to get rid of the top and the bottom and for that I'm going to choose the rectangle tool M in the shortcut and I'm going to make two rectangles so one on the top and one on the bottom and then with your selection tool which is V just select them all so you can see where the rectangles all are aligned so the top one is good but I think the bottom one can go a bit lower so maybe like this. And then go to your Shape Builder tool. With Alt pressed, you see the minus sign appear. That means you're going to get rid of certain things. And if you do it like this, you will get rid of your entire rectangle. So let's say first with your selection tool, select everything. Then take your Shape Builder tool, press Alt, and then we're going to just drag along so it's deleted and like this you have a, something that looks like a pot now i think it would be nice to make a little detail in the pot so with the rectangle tool i'll make a small rectangle and i'll go to color and i'm going to choose a light not really white, but whitish color. Mm -hmm. I'm going to add this in the swatches also. So if you want the same color than me, it's seven no F seven D B C one. And then once again, with our selection tool, I'm going to select everything go to the shape builder tool and then i'm just going to oh, and press alt and i'm going to get rid of those two things now i have a pot and um, i think it will also be nice to make a sort of shadow so i'm going to take my rectangle tool again um, and you see these pink lines that are guidelines um, you can choose to view your guidelines in view or you press ctrl or command eu and i'm going to use them to make this rectangle in the middle then you might have guessed it i'm going to select everything take my shape over to alt pressed and then i just have this shape oh, that shape i'm going to select i'm going to make it black and then i'm going to go to the properties 
and set the opacity to around, mm, I think, 10? Yeah, 9, 9 or 10. And that way it looks like there's a shadow on the pot. I'm going to select everything with my selection tool and then I'm going to right click and choose group. Okay, so that is our first round pot. Now you can also make a rectangular pot, so for that you'll take your rectangle tool, Alt Shift to make a rectangle tool from the middle out. So Option Shift on a Mac. And then with the rectangle selected, I'm going to take my eyedropper tool and give it the same color as my other pot. Now this is quite a rectangular pop, which they also have in their stores now, so it's really modern, but I want to change it up a little bit. Um, so, let's see. With our direct selection tool, I'm going to select the right bottom anchor and then I'm going to hold my shift key and hit the left arrow key just to taper it in a little and I'm going to do the same thing on the left side so shift and then we're going to press the right arrow key so as you can see now it's a bit tapered at the bottom now we also need a top part for this pot. So take the rectangle to make another small rectangle. And if you want to move it like this while still creating it, just hold down your space key, space bar. Okay, that looks good. And then I want a shadow beneath this one. So with my selection tool, can select it and then alt drag it to make a copy. We'll select it and I'm going to alt drag it to make a copy. And then I'm going to put it below it, the top one. I'm going to, oh, I have two copies now. Don't need that one. I'm going to select everything. And then with my shape builder tool, I'm going to get rid of this by pressing Alt while I'm sliding over it and then I'm going to select only that one maybe make it a bit smaller and I'm going to give it another color a darker color like that so now it looks like there's a shadow I think that maybe my pot is a bit too tall so let's see the direct selection tool, I'm going to select these bottom two anchor points and then once again holding shift, I'm now going to press the up key to make it smaller. Okay, I think this is a bit better. And then just like our round pot, I want to give it a shadow. So once again, rectangle tool. Make sure it's in the middle of the pot. And then Selection tool, select everything, the shape builder tool, and with the Alt key, I'm going to delete the parts I don't need. And on this one, I'm also going to make black. And in the properties, I'll set the transparency or opacity to 10 or 9%. And then just as the other one, I'm going to select all of it, right click and choose group. It's as simple as that. We have two pots. And in those two pots, we can also put some plants. Um, let's see. Take your... So I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to make an ellipse with just a stroke so we can better see what we're doing. And then I'm going to duplicate it by 
keeping all pressed and dragging the ellipse. And as you can see where the ellipses meet, you can hold shift so to go in a, a straight line. Where they meet, you get the leaf-like shape. So drag it until you have the shape you want to have. And then we're going to select in both the circles, take the shape of the tool, and holding Alt pressed, we will delete the excess. Now, this leaf-like shape. Going to switch it up, fill it in with a green color. And I'm going to give it the same effect as the pots. So first, I'm going to take my rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle from the middle. I should give a darker color. And then I'm going to select everything and with my shape builder tool, I'm going to get rid of the outside part by pressing Alt. And now I have a leaf. I'm going to select both pieces and then right click and group them. Now you can play around with this leaf, you can make it bigger. If you hold shift, it will um, enlarge evenly. If you leave the shift, you can uh, make it smaller. So play around with that until you have something you like. I'm going to put it in the middle, but as you can see, the leaf is in front of the pot. So then I'm going to select the pot. And because it's a group, you have everything selected. Right click it and then arrange, bring to front. And now your leaf is behind the pot. Now this leaf. I'm going to duplicate this leaf also. And then I'm going to just play around for a little bit. Taller, maybe skew it a little bit. A bit smaller, maybe. So just play around with it until you have something you really like. That's our first plant. Now you can, um, I'm going to duplicate, you can select everything here and make it a group. So right click and group. And then if you want to edit the group, you can go in by double clicking and then you get an isolation, isolation mode. And I'm going to copy this leaf, so it's Control or Command C, and then click outside, double click outside to get out of isolation mode. I'm going to paste the leaf with Control or Command V. Now for this one, I want a small leaf, um, and I want it a bit rounder like this, so I'm changing it without pressing my Shift key. I have a very small leaf, which I want to place on a stem. Uh, so for the stem, I'm going to take my rectangle tool and make a rectangle a small. I'm going to take my leaf and I'm going to skew it a bit. And then also... Duplicate it. Maybe one more that comes out from the bottom, like this. 
うんもうちょっとあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっあっ So that the shadow is correct. But yeah, there you have it. You can now select everything here also and then choose group. And now we have two pots, two different types of pots, and two different type, types of plants. So you can really play around with this.、Um, And make all sorts of flat image plants and pots you like. So that was it for this tutorial. I hope you liked it. Be sure to let me know in the comments below and also press that like button if you did. I will be bringing out lots more of these types of tutorials soon. So if you want to stay in the loop and be informed when I do, be sure to press that subscribe button with the little bell icon. For now, keep creating, stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next one.